What is going on guys? We are back playing some more surviving with Thomcraft 5 and today guys we're going to be discussing how you can deal with warp. Now a lot of you guys have been asking me in pretty much all the videos where this occurs what happens when the screen gets dark around the edges and you can hear certain things uh, whether it's a creeper sneaking up on you or you know your character's heartbeat and that is a side effect of warp. Now you can get warp from a couple different things such as crafting or actually doing research which is marked as forbidden. We've done a couple of those probably one of the most common ones that you're going to get is going to be on the first tab under research mastery and you can see it says forbidden knowledge mostly harmless now this warp so far has not done anything that's negative to us but it is annoying when it comes to recording because it does freak me out a fair bit especially when the creeper noise happens because i am notorious for getting blown up by creepers so i decided it's about time we deal with this and there are a couple different ways that we can do that including taking a little bit of a trip to the spa and you'll understand what i mean in a little bit when we get to the research and it's actually not that much research we have to do today so if we go into our book and we go over to the alchemy tab if we go through magic tallow which we did a while ago that was one of our first episodes we have these three different researches right here now we're going to be using the alchemical manufacturer one but all three of these can be bought with experience so it's just three levels per so we need the alchemical manufacturer one and that's going to allow us to get purifying bath salts now i believe and i'm not 100 percent positive but i believe you don't have access to actually researching this until you've gotten a message in chat when you have enough warp that it's saying you've got these headaches and there must be some way to get rid of it and that is when this research should become available to to you now the first one is going to be purifying bath salt it's called stress relief for the mind so we're going to come over here and we're going to take a look at the research note so the research note is right here this is one way to solve it if you'd like to pause the video and take a look it just occurred to me now that we actually have an extra metallum right there because of how i looped around and we didn't actually need that so pay no attention to that one uh, i was a little bit lazy while i was doing these just because they're pretty simple so we have that one and now we're going to take this one and we are going to research it so there we go, we have purifying bath salts. Now these are relatively easy to make, and we're actually gonna research a couple other things. So we're gonna need to do the arcane spa research, and you actually purchase that one with experience levels. And it's looking like I am a little bit low, so we're gonna do the sanitizing soap first, and then if we don't have enough experience to get the arcane spa, we'll probably be one kill off. I will go kill something, and then we'll hop back, and we'll get that one too. So the research note for this one is actually relatively simple too. It involves alienus which i assume is how you pronounce that which we've actually never come across before we're going to be using this today though and we're actually going to get the essentia for this using ender pearls so i did go out and kill a fair bit of endermen but we are going to be completing this on camera i think for the first time in a very long time uh just because why not so we're going to be going like this and hmm oh there we go so that should go there and then that and should be able to do vacuos there and ordo we should just be able to go metallum to terra for this so there we go so there's the research note for that they're all relatively close it's pretty easy to do um i just wanted to point out that we've never actually seen alienist before so just something interesting on a side note so we're going to research this and unfortunately it has not gotten us to level three so i'm going to go out and i'm going to kill some guys and then we'll hop back and the reason i'm not killing the guys right above us is because those guys are, are not actually up there they're like in a cave around here somewhere which is why we always hear them but they're not actually right above us if i go outside Okay guys, so we are back. I actually did manage to find one guy that was above us. So out of all those guys that you might see on the map, only one guy was up on the hilltop right above us and that was a skeleton so went out killed him came right back and now we have enough experience to research the arcane spa so this one is just kind of a convenient way to go about this it does increase the effectiveness of the sanitizing soap which we're going to be going over later as does the effects of the bath salts but you don't necessarily need this so don't freak out if you don't have the three experience levels to get it not that it's really difficult to get three experience levels but the main idea is going to be the purifying bath salts and sanitizing soap today so first off we can start with the purifying bath salts so both things we're making today are going to be in the crucible relatively easy to do it's nice that there's no infusions and for the most part they're going to be using victus cognito and then this one uses air and ordo and the other one is going to use a couple different aspects but pretty much this is going to say that warp is dangerous and once you start doing a little bit of 
too much dabbling in the the dark arts of Thomcraft, uh, it becomes a little bit of an annoyance, uh, a little bit more than just an annoyance. But for us at this point, it's just an annoyance with, you know, the screen turning dark, messages coming up, all that different stuff, and, you know, making me freak out that there's a creeper behind us. Um, I've actually been watching people's videos before, a while ago, um, where they've had that noise happen, and I was also playing Minecraft, and I thought something was behind me in my game, when really, it was a fake creeper behind that person in their video. So, the warp has done a toll on me, uh, but we're gonna hopefully deal with that today, so that doesn't happen to any of you guys out there. Um, but pretty much, you're just gonna toss these bath salts into water, Water, you're just gonna throw them in there let it sit there and it should turn the liquid a slightly different color it becomes a little bit more uh, opaque and a little bit less blue it's like kind of becomes a, a very light blue and it's a lot less visible that's pretty much how I describe it it becomes very transparent I guess um, but yeah it should be noted that however more warp a thaumaturge suffers from the shorter the duration of the protection so it gives you a buff uh, for a decent amount of time that is going to kind of protect you from the effects of warp um, ours will probably last somewhere around 25 minutes I would say um, but you don't want to throw the salts all over the place because they'll dissolve if you toss them around a lot so don't be throwing them around and picking them up and all that stuff um, it is made from Salus Mundus which comes from balance shards uh, so I do have balance shards made already but we do need to turn this uh, balance shards into Salus Mundus uh, and then go from there and then we can cover the sanitizing soap too while we're at it just going through this before we jump into crafting so this one is going to be using a block of flesh and again it uses cognito ordo and victus it uses a lot more and then it uses alienus which we are going to be getting from ender pearls which it took me a little bit of time to gather but uh, we do have them now so cleaning the body is easy enough but once warp becomes a nuisance you will need something that can clean the mind as well the soap cleans the flesh but the effects it has on your psyche is truly what makes it special so it has a small chance of reducing non-permanent warp and will remove all temporary warp now while under the effects of warp ward which is what you get when you use the bath salts um it will be more effective or it'll increase your odds or while standing in purifying fluid so Pretty much, if you're standing in the purifying fluid, which would be the water um, from like the Arcane Spa, uh, or if you're under the effects of the Warp Ward, which you get from the Arcane Spa, or just from throwing bath salts into water and stepping in it, all of that will increase the odds of this uh, getting rid of your warp and all of that. So this one comes from a block of flesh, so if you don't know, that's pretty much just crafting a like any other block, but it's out of rotten flesh, so it's really easy to get. So uh, on top of that, we'll grab out the ender pearls now and we'll start crafting this. So we got to throw the ender pearls in over here just because these, as you can see, are going to get us four modus. They could get us four modus and four alienus. I really hope we have some jar that's available for these. I think the jars down at the far end should be. Yes, yeah, so we got those jars available there. Uh, hopefully it can find its way down there. Huh. Can it? Oh, yeah, it is. It's making its way down there. It looks like it stops over here, and that was like freaking me out. Okay, so it made its way down there. That is good. Now we need to do a little bit of crafting. So we've got the balance shards up here, the rotten flesh here. Also, one thing I want to note, I had an extra primal charm from the last episode because I made a few extras. Held this in my uh, inventory slot right here in my hotbar. Left it there for a little bit like you guys suggested a while ago. And it did, in fact, give me uh, some research. I don't remember what it was. I didn't really look into it, but it did give me a message in chat saying that we have unlocked uh, some extra research. So just something to note for you guys. And now we can go into getting the rest of the stuff that we're going to need for today so we need the salus mundus so we just need to cook this down that can just be easily done right over here so we'll allow those to cook down and we will craft the block of flesh right now uh we're only going to be using one block of flesh only need one soap today but i am going to craft a couple more purifying bath salts so i'm going to make sure we have enough for the soap so we're going to do that one first but on top of that then we're going to do as many bath salts as we possibly can so i guess we can I guess we can wait for this while it finishes and then we can go and bring it all over there because it's all going to be done at the crucible and then we are going to uh, i guess we should craft the arcane spot too while we're over here just because we can head all the way over to the other side then so if we look in here and look at the arcane spa this is pretty much saying pouring your bath salts into water uh, can be a bit of a chore but this will allow us to easily do that through the use of a little bit of magic. So pretty much what you're gonna do is create this machine, which is going to output water, and it's gonna automatically mix it with your bath salts and fill in a five by five area above where the machine is placed. So you pretty much are making a spa for yourself. Um, 
and you can pretty much pump in any liquid you can fill it with and you can automate it do anything like that or you can just put buckets in there on your own by right clicking on it with a full bucket uh, so that's what we're going to be doing now this pretty much just is for convenience sake so it's pretty easy to craft it's just going to be two blocks of quartz uh, one iron bar uh, four arcane stone and then a warded jar and a brass gear so then we got to throw in our great wood wand and there we go arcane spot it really doesn't require that much to make because it really isn't that special uh, so there we go we have our salus mundus so we can head over here still haven't made the hungry chest but we'll get there someday so we're gonna make the block of flesh first for the sanitizing soap like I said we're only gonna be using one of these and the reason I'm doing this is because this requires 16 of every aspect that it's using whereas the salus mundus only requires six of them uh, and uses a lot of the similar aspects so it'll be better if we're able to craft at least one soap and then we'll go from there with the salus mundus so there we go we now have the sanitizing soap actually looks pretty cool throw this in there and we can scroll up and get the purifying bath salts so we'll allow those to go through I don't think well actually we might be able to make all five I think Victus is gonna be what would stop us from that but if we need to we can throw a little bit more steak in there not the most effective way to get it but I killed a lot of cows with the uh, vampire bats so that's why I have so much of this but we'll let us to continue running this might be the last one that we can get but we actually don't need that many I'll show you guys how the arcane spa works and along with that I'll show you how you can do it without the arcane spa but looks like we will find out here if we have enough or not oh yeah we do okay so we're probably like yeah we're running really low on Victus right now but we can head over here and this is going to be the area where the spa goes it looks like I might need another torch down over here like right there but this is where the spa is gonna go it's nothing special we haven't made a, a nice fancy area for it but we can throw this down right here it's got a 5x5 five five area on top of it that it can fill in with water and if we click on this it's got a nice UI here that's got one button on it now the purifying bath salts would go in there and right now it says mix with ingredient which would be the water right here that would fill up this area and the ingredient right here the next one is just use the fluid I don't know why you would use this unless it's just for aesthetic aspects but this would pretty much mean just use the fluid pumped in there and those are the only two options so first we can do just use the fluid or I guess we, could, we can start to mix the ingredients eventually but what we're gonna do is we're going to we already have some water in here so what we can do is mine out let's just mine out this block right here and we can throw down the water and then we can take the purifying bath salts and we can throw one in there so we'll throw one in there and we'll let it sit there for a little bit and let's just watch the color it takes a little bit I would say a couple seconds but that's probably not true it's maybe like 10 seconds okay so there you can see it it changes a slightly different color I don't know how to describe this but it gets bubbles in it um, and it's a slightly different color slightly more uh, transparent easier to see through and it's not really a, a vibrant blue anymore um, kind of a dull blue so we're gonna jump in there and now if we look in our inventory we can see that we have a buff it's for 26 minutes and 34 seconds of course this would change based on how much warp you have but this is the warp ward buff now this is gonna prevent any of those creeper noises or any of the heartbeat noises and the screen darkening around the edges from happening to us for that duration and along with this it's also the buff that's going to increase the effectiveness of or the increase the odds of the sanitizing soap removing warp now what we can do is start putting the buckets of water into the arcane spa so you can see when you put one bucket in there it fills up I would say that's probably a quarter of the way to a fifth of the way so we're gonna keep bucketing them in there uh, the reason you might want to automate this and we're not gonna deal with that right now it looks like it's gonna be five buckets but the reason we're not gonna deal with that right now is just because uh, it's a little bit too much of a hassle I don't plan on using this that much but the minute we throw this in there allow that to go it starts pouring out water now it'll fill up this whole area and it'll combine this and use up all the water the only problem is we don't actually have enough to fill up this whole area so then it becomes a little bit of an issue and I'm interested in seeing what happens if you put water in there without anything to mix it with if it'll put plain water out or if it'll keep it in there it looks like it'll keep it in there but now we are in the bath we have the water uh, so we are standing in the purifying water we are in the bath and now we can use the sanitizing soap because it should have the maximum effect possible so we'll go into uh f5 we'll watch us clean ourselves i didn't even realize there's coal above us right there but actually no we'll stand we'll, we'll go the other way because this gives really cool particle effects hopefully i have my particle effects on for the most part so you can see it puts a lot of bubbles around you and we're cleaning ourselves cleaning ourselves come on 
as much as I like these particle effects. Okay, so there we go. Get a little bit of the fancy noise, and it says you have lost warp. Now, eventually, there are going to be ways in which we can look at how much warp we have. There are going to be times that we want to achieve a high amount of warp, which we will get to eventually. But today, we're just going to talk about how we dealt with the temporary warp that we can get when we're doing crafting or something along those lines and dealing with all things like that and how we can prevent ourselves from having to deal with those annoying creeper noises that we might have or the heartbeat noises or anything like that, specifically because you guys always commented on it in my videos. And actually, at the start of the series, I really didn't know what was causing it so uh, I thought it would be interesting to look into and finally I figured out what it was uh, a couple of you guys helped me out with that and then we we figured out a way to deal with it that's the engineering problem solving method guys you have a problem you figure out what it is and then you fix it so you're basically all engineers now that's how we do it um, but yeah, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you found it entertaining or informative in any way, please feel free to give it a like. And also let me know in the comments if you guys have had any bad experiences with the warp effects, making you freak out with the creeper noises. If my videos have done that to you, please let me know. Cause I think that actually be really funny to hear about because that has happened to me countless times, especially when I was watching ethos videos before that's one of the main culprits uh, is etho having the stupid warp effects that then freak me out because I'm playing Minecraft then. So yeah. Yep, I'll talk to you guys later.